You know, I love those old timey expressions like first things first, and we have to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> they were used a lot of times back in the good old days, back in the 50s and in the 60s. And if you watch some of those old fashioned TV shows, you'll definitely see people use that phrase a lot. Let's get to the bottom of it. First things first. We well, do agree, especially with the first things first. Let's talk about this for a minute. Hi, I'm Jan. Welcome to my channel. I love to help people save money and talk about other stuff besides that. But know what I learned from Kevin O'Leary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not directly through him from watching a video of his. <laughs> he suggested on a video a long time ago that he learned it's really, really great idea to get rid of the first, I think it was the first three things of the day that he didn't really care for doing. And he would knock it out of the ballpark early. You know, there's a lot of logic to that. Instead of like making certain appointments, for example, that you really dislike making, and let's say you're making them at three in the afternoon. I'm not an afternoon person, honestly. I guess it depends on a person. I'm not an afternoon person for appointments. Like if somebody says, oh, meet me at five o'clock. I'm like, really, do I have to? <laughs> I'm not an afternoon person at all whatsoever. So if there are things that, uh, let's say, that are maybe like, let's say, for example, a doctor's appointment. Furthermore, it's always good to get an early doctor's appointment. From what I heard, everybody's in better shape, they're more rested and so on and so forth. But if there are three things that you don't care for doing, you know, first thing in the morning, let's say maybe you don't care for some, I don't know, task at hand in your home or apartment, whatever that chore may be, okay? Maybe it's better to knock it out of the ballpark earlier, right? Or sitting down and going over your budget. Now, I'm not saying that you don't like going over your budget, although maybe some people don't, <laughs> okay? But uh, if, if that's like a like an unimaginable task for you, sit down early in the morning when you're probably more refreshed. I'm not saying always necessarily, but have your coffee or your tea and less distraction if the kids are off at school, right? If you have a quiet moment for yourself, if, 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 okay? That might be the better time like to, uh, to do that, the best time to do that. Uh, so it is a good suggestion. We are more perfunctory, if you will, first thing in the morning, right? So if we could get three tasks that, or a couple, whatever, so even the one thing, if it's something you're really like not fond of doing, get rid of it early, get it done early. That way you don't have to think about it. Don't let, it doesn't give you mental clutter the rest of the day. Just knock it out of the ballpark. So I really do think that uh, Mr. O'Leary has something very, very good in mind with that that tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And the second thing, of course, is let's get to the bottom of it. Well, of course. I mean, if something is like something confusing, it doesn't make sense. It's always better to like dig a little deeper, you know, drill down deeper and find out the, you know, full answer. Maybe you don't like the answer, but at least you'll know the answer. And always remember that not knowledge is power. Even if we don't like the answer or the information, knowledge is absolutely power. There you go. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. And I really do appreciate everybody's time. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care now. Bye-bye. This should cut me off. <laughs>